Hey guys, I uh, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, today we are going to be working on lesson 115. Yesterday you should have taken your math fact test and done the math fact homework 115 uh, where you get to, I think you got to grade those. Um, so you should have done that and then today we are working on this worksheet, lesson worksheet 115-1. And we will also work on your class practice, okay? So if you don't already have those, pause the video and go get them. And we will get right into it. All right? So this worksheet here, I'm actually going to have you guys do after the video. If you look at it, we've done this before. You're going to just go through and you're going to use these boxes just like we do the linking cubes when we do this kind of thing in class okay so 8 plus 3 you can color in 8 squares over here and 3 squares over here so I'll do that first one for you it'll help you okay so see See that dark line in the middle? See? All right, so on this side, I colored in 8 because that's the first number. And then on this side, I colored in 3 because that's the second number. Okay? So that way, then you can count these and come up with your answer. Okay? Which should have been 11. Okay? So you guys go ahead and work on that after you stop the video. Okay? Go down, take your time. Make sure that you are filling in those boxes and counting them to double check yourself, okay? Make sure that you remember. All right, so now we're gonna work on this, okay? You need a pencil, eraser. I do not see anything with color, so I don't think we need crayons, okay? So you wanna start out with your ruler, all right? It says draw a two inch line segment for your name. Okay, so make sure you're lining up the beginning of the inch measuring side of the ruler with this dot and then draw till you get to the two and write your name. Then you need to go through and fill in the date and the day of the week. Okay, so work on that. Get your two inch line segment in your name. All right, so you should have your name on the paper. Okay. Today's date is April 17th, 2020, or 4-17-20. And today is Friday. Okay. All right, so number one says write the number 104 on the place value chart. Okay, so we've got our place value chart here. So we're going to write the number 104. Okay. So this is what you should have. Right. All right, now they said circle the digit that tells the number of 100s. Okay, so we start out with our ones place. If you only have one number, it is in the ones place. Okay. Then we have our tens place, and then finally the hundreds place. Remember I told you, anytime you have three numbers, it's going to be a hundred, whether it's 100, 200, 300, 400, okay? So the one that tells the number of hundreds is the one in the hundreds place. So it would be one, all right? Number two. Michelle wrote a two-digit number on a piece of paper. She gave the children the following clues to help them guess her secret number. Michelle said, the digits I used are five and three. Write the two possible numbers. Okay, so if the possible digits, okay, if she used the digits five and three, That'll make two numbers, 
Okay, so think for a sec about how that's possible. How you could get two different numbers using the same digits. Okay, so if you're using a five and a three, right? The most obvious would be 53. Okay, so that's just coming straight down. Five and a three. So I have the number 53. All right. So then what is a number, another number that I can make with a five and a three? I just flip it around, okay? So put the three in front and then the five. And I get 35. So you see both of those numbers are using the digits three and five. All right? Underneath that, it says, Michelle said the number is between 29 and 41. Circle Michelle's secret number. Okay, so we know that if she used the digits 5 and 3, it's got to either be 53 or 35. Okay, so now she's telling us that it's somewhere in between 29 and 41. Okay, now, so I'm going to look at my possible answers. Is 53 in between 29 and 41? Okay, well, first let's see. If it were between them, it would have to be bigger than 29. Is 53 bigger than 29? Yes. All right. All right. Is 35 bigger than 29? Yes. All right. So they're both bigger than 29. That's not going to help. All right. So 41 is the other number. So they've got it. The number has to be smaller than 41. Okay. So now I'm going to look. Is 53 smaller than 41? If it's not immediately, if you don't immediately know the answer, look at your tens place. Okay? The 41 has a 4 in the tens place, and the 53 has a 5 in the tens place. Okay? Which one's bigger, a 4 or a 5? The 5 is bigger. Okay? So 53 is going to be bigger than 41, so it would be out on this side. It wouldn't be in between. Okay? But just in case I'm wrong, I'm going to make sure that 35 fits. Okay? So is 35 smaller than 41? I'm going to look at my tens place. I have a 3 and I've got a 4. All right, the 4 is the bigger number, so 41 is bigger than 35. So 35 would fit in between 29 and 41. So I'm going to circle the 35. Okay? So 53 is a bigger number. It's going to come after 41, so it's not going to be in between those two numbers. It's going to be on the outside. Okay? All right. Number three says circle the clock that shows half past one. All right, so half past one. If it is half past one, it is halfway to the hour that comes after one. Okay, so the hour that comes after one is two, right? One, two. All right, so it's going to be somewhere between one o'clock and two o'clock. Okay, so I know that my hour hand is going to be between the one and the two. All right, so that's the short hand. Okay, so I've got all these clocks here. So I'm going to look at those short hands. Okay, and the first clock, the short hand is between the 12 and the one. Is that right? No, it is not. On the second clock, where is that hand? It is between the two and the three. Is that correct? No, it is not. All right. On the third clock, it, where does the little shorthand point? It's between the one and the two. That's good. Okay, but let's keep going and make sure they're not tricking us. All right. This last one, where's that little hand? It is on the one. Okay. But they want to know which one is half past one. So we know it can't be these, right? Because that one is between the 12 and the 1, so it's 12 something, right? This one is between the 2 and the 3, so it's 2 something. This one is between the 1 and the 2, and this one is by the 1, okay? So just to make sure, I'm going to check the minute hands, okay? So this minute hand is pointed at the 6. If I were to draw a line straight from the 6 up to the 12, I would be cutting the clock in half, okay? 
and 12 is where we start, okay? So that would cut the entire clock in half. So one might say that's half past, okay? Let's look at this one just to be sure, all right? So this one, our minute hand is pointed at the 12, all right? So that means that this is saying it is exactly one o'clock, right? All right, so the one that is between the one and the two, and the one that is pointed at the six, which comes halfway between the beginning and the end of our numbers, is half past one, all right? So hopefully you agree, all right? So we're gonna circle that clock. All right, good. Number four, Krista put the linking cubes in trains of 10. How many linking cubes does she have all together? All right, so look here in the box. All right, so she they told us that she put them in trains of 10. Okay, so we don't need to count them. We can trust it because it's on our math worksheet. Okay, so you know that each one of these is 10. And then she's got some extras out here. So we're going to count by 10s. Okay, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, so there are four trains of 10, so they are 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. Then we have an extra four out here. So when you get to 40, you can say 41, 42, 43, 44. Or you can look at it as, as your tens place is a four and your ones place is a four, which would be 44, okay? Make sure you write your answer on the blank. There are 44 linking cubes in that box. All right, number five says, draw tally marks to show the number of chairs in your classroom. How many chairs are there? Well, that'll be hard because we're not sitting in the classroom. All right, so the last time we were in school, there were seven students, okay? So you all have seven chairs. I have a chair, so that would be eight. And there were four chairs at the back table. Okay, so that should be 12. All right, so let's go with 12. All right, uh, okay, so when you do tally marks, how many are in a group? Okay, you should have said five. All right, so if I'm going to start counting out tally marks, I'll say one, two, three, four. Hopefully you remember this. Okay, and when I get to five, I'm going to draw the fifth line across the other four. Okay, so that's five. All right, so remember we're going to 12. So I've got five. So now I'm going to say six, seven, eight, nine. So see, I've got another four. All right, so for the fifth one in that group, 10, I'm going to go across. All right, so we're at 10. Okay, remember we're going to 12. So that's 10, 11, 12. All right, so that's what your tally mark should look like. You have 5, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so your answer is how many chairs are there? There are 12 chairs. All right, down at the bottom, you're adding, okay? So the first two, we are adding a number to 10. Remember, any time that you add a double-digit number to 10, you're just gonna add one to your tens place, okay? Because 10 has a one in the tens place and a zero in the ones place. So you don't have to worry about that because nine plus zero is nine. So 79 plus 10, if we're just gonna take 79 up 10, we're just gonna say seven plus one, okay? So what do you think the answer is? 79 plus 10? All right, so hopefully you said 89. All right, so see, look at 79 and look at 89. The only difference is seven is one less than that eight, okay? So I added the one from the 10 to that seven. That's how I got the eight for 89, all right? The next one, we have 22 plus 10. So we can do the same thing. I can take this one bring it over here and add it to the two. That's gonna say two plus one, so that's gonna make that first two a three. Okay, 
and then 10. Your ones place is a zero. So you're just going to keep your two from the 22. Okay. So you get 32. All right. So look at 22 and 32. The 22, you just have one more in that tens place to get to 32. All right. Now we have a three digit problem. So you have five plus one plus four. So if you look at that, look for anything that you can do. Okay. All right. So I see four plus one or one plus four. Okay. I know that that's easy. One plus four is five, right? All right. So then we still have a five up there. So five plus five is a double. Five plus five is 10. All right. So hopefully that was not too hard. Um, if there's anything that you need repeated, you can just rewind the video um, and double check it. Or if you still have a question, um, you guys can just send me an email. Uh, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope to see you guys soon. All right. Take care of yourselves.